Some of you guys who've been around for a while might recognize this. This is my potato box. Today, I'm planting my potato. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm going to be planting my potatoes. So this summer I'm actually going to be doing sweet potatoes. We're going to try sweet potatoes out, and it is May 13th, 2018. I'm dating myself, so I'm going to try to get this video up sooner than later. But nonetheless, I have my potato box. It needs to be cleaned out. There's some weeds growing in there. I have my dirt left over from last year. I'm going to pull that out. And over there... There are my sweet potatoes. So I have six, six sweet potato plants, and at this point, time to get this cleaned out. Okay, so in case some of you guys don't know what this is, this is a, uh, a potato box I built last year. If you haven't already, please check out the playlist from last year, or at least the video where I built the $50, it was like the budget potato box. I think it was like less than $50 to make a potato box. So these are one by ones, and I took two eight foot long one by ones, and I cut them into four feet sections. My plan last year was to grow this potato box and have it up to be four feet tall. I also took a sheet. This is a sheet of quarter inch plywood. And I think it's actually it's half inch plywood. And I cut this down. That section in the back is two feet high and then these sections are all cut to 12 inches. What I did last year was I put the level here and as the potatoes grew, I would put more dirt in there and then add a level to this side of the box. This year, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start at um, this 12 inch mark, and I might actually put the second level up here just so I can have dirt up to this 12 inch mark all the way around, and I'm gonna plant my plants, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna pretty much grow this as if it were a container as opposed to keep leveling it up. So I'm gonna get some dirt into the box, and then we'll get this planted. Okay, so I went to the garage and I picked up the panels that I had. I forgot that I trimmed them down to six inches last year. So this is perfect. I'm going to make this just 18 inches deep. And all of these panels, again, last year what I did was I kept adding the panels on it and they kept getting higher and higher. This year I'm just going to do, it's gonna be, we're working with 18 inches here. So down at the bottom, this bottom plank was 12 inches and this is going to be another six inches. So we have 18 inches of height uh, that we're going to be dealing with, like I said, on this box so far this year. I'm gonna put some more dirt in here after I get these up and then I'm gonna plant my plants.
All right, so I have my uh, my dirt in the box, and we're like an inch or two below the top, so we have about 15, 16 inches of dirt here. All right, so I uh, my camera battery died, but I was saying that I have about 15 inches of dirt in the box right now, and I'm going to, we're just gonna plant the potatoes kinda wherever they are, they, they can go. Scoop a little bit out. And we'll get them in the ground. Well, into the box here. I'm just gonna turn this over. I don't quite know what the best way to do this is. I've never actually done this before. Last year, I used cedar potatoes. So let's stick this down in the back. Two up front. Some of you guys might be saying that's too many potatoes in the box. I don't know. If it is, I will find out. room for these guys to tube down and uh, hopefully we'll have a better uh, turnout than, or better output than I did last year so again these are sweet potatoes all right so there you have it here's my potato box of 2018 Hopefully I have a better year yield than I did last year for 2017. Uh, I figure I'll update you guys maybe every two weeks, every three weeks. I don't pretty much know what they're gonna look like after it's all said and done. But hopefully I get some sweet potatoes this year. I figure I'll try a different crop. I might, I might actually take these stays since they're uh, two feet and cut them off and make another box and maybe grow something else. What do you guys think? Hedge my bets and grow a couple different varieties. Well, you guys will be the uh, the judge. You let me know what you guys think uh, I should do. Uh, these potatoes, obviously, if you start, you saw, were starter. I guess they were plants. As opposed to last year, I actually grew uh, seed potatoes. So hopefully, like I said, we get some actual potatoes this year. Nonetheless, thank you guys as always for watching. If you like what you saw, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up down below. And we'll, we'll revisit this all summer long.